Hello Laita, welcome back in Language Shula. Uh, now today we are starting something new. Nominative, accusative we did. Nominative is subjective case, accusative is objective case. Now today we are starting dative case means again what is dative, how we can use in sentence, how we can frame sentence using dative. This all we will cover in this particular video only. So let's get started. Now German with Saurav again dative case is basically indirect object okay first we'll learn dative article okay dative article what are the dative article see bestimmt article means definite article unbestimmt is indefinite article and negative article means negation means negative article now masculine feminine neutral gender uh, neutral and plural these are the uh, art, uh, these are the gender we have in German language. Now, dem, der, dem, den plus n. Remember, dem, der, dem, den plus n. Okay, then I num because it is a dem, so I num, kai num. Neutral, dem, I num, kai num. Feminine, der, einer, kai ner. Plural, den, nothing, kainen, plus n. Okay. Now this article. Let's see this article again. Uh, where I can write. Okay. Let's write here. I'm going to make a, a revision. I'm going, do, I'm going to do a revision for you where, you where I'm writing all the nominative, accusative and dative article together so that it is better for you to understand again and again what are the differences between nominative, accusative and dative. Let's have a quick recap. Now, if uh, let's suppose masculine, feminine, neutrum, and plural first i will write nominative then accusative then dative this are definite in indefinite i'll write nominative accusative and dative see masculine remember there in accusative it become dane in dative it become dame see the difference these are definite there dane dame feminine is the again accusative is also the and dative is there earlier what is used to be masculine now it become a feminine okay neutral is again das das and the dative is dame okay plural is the the and den plus n these are the article of nominative accusative and dative definite article write it like this so that whenever you revise dative let's suppose it automatically get revised nominative and accusative okay now indefinite let me change yes indefinite is what ein i none remember den i none or it is dem so it become i num okay what does it become i num similarly i n then i n because nominative accusative same dative it become i ner i ner because there okay neutral neutral is ein Ein and I num again because a dame will become I num and nothing for this plural one. Okay, we know why. Okay, now similar for negative. If we put k before it, it become uh, it become negative. So write the article like this. Whenever you revise a nom uh, a dative, revise a nominative, accusative, dative all together. Because again, every article is important in German language. Okay. Now let's get started for the next. With this we did. Now before example, let's understand what is a dative. Okay. Let's take some example. Okay. First of all, see what is a dative? Sir, nominative is subjective, accusative is objective. Then what is dative? 
dative is indirect object there are two type of object in the sentence direct object or indirect object so direct object is accusative indirect object is dative sir so how we will figure it out which one is dative which one is accusative let's see let me give you example if i say ish cock ish cock dash mutter dash zup okay this is a sentence let's suppose okay now what is direct or what is indirect see i cook ish cock ish cock i cook what i cook what i cook the first question what what answer given by direct object what i cook soup so this is accusative or this is a direct object for whom i am cooking is indirect object mother is indirect object okay indirect object or we can also say dative now there is one more way to understand it figure it out now let's suppose cover this okay cover this too now read ish cock if i am covering this the soup if i am covering this then ish cock mutter i cook mother is it making sense no sir so this is not a direct object because without indirect object sentence can be possible like if i say i cook soup that is complete sentence okay but if i say i cook mother indirect sentence incomplete sentence so again direct object without direct object you cannot complete sentence this is also a way to identify which one is direct or indirect okay now you can cover both in exam also if you don't understand cover this both and remove one i cook mother no it is not possible so this is indirect object but i cook soup this can be possible so this is direct object now see ish cock my mother if i want to say my mother and why we know this is dative because this is indirect so mother is feminine feminine so it become my nar mutter my nar mutter because female and dative female dative okay soup is the zupa and accusative the remain the so it is the zupa so ish cock my nar mutter the zupa okay i cook the soup for my mother in english for my mother because in english we need preposition but in german we can apply dative okay now understand one more thing that while framing sentence first we have to write a nominative like this ish then verb then then dative then accusative this is the sequence what we are following here okay what we have to follow like see ish gebe ish gebe dem man ein book now see i give what you give i give a man or i give a book i give a book is a complete so this is direct object and i give uh, this is a man is indirect object okay why indirect object simple sir i give what a book so this is direct object whom i give is the second additional information so it is indirect object okay now this is nominative verb see nominative verb dative and accusative this is how we are framing sentence don't worry we'll take a lot of example today ish gebe ish gebe minor mutter bloomen okay now i give what i give mother or i give flower is the right way i give flower so flower is accusative here flower is accusative which is direct object my nar mutter is indirect object so this is dative so this is dative clear now let's take more examples and i'll give you a sheet as well now see first again this is subject 
दिस इज वर्व अगेन दिस इज विल फिगर इट आउट विथ टूगेदर ओके दी मुटर एट सेल्ट एट सेल्ट मीन्स नेरेट ओके और टेल द मदर नेरेट वॉट मदर कैन नेरेट मदर कैन नेरेट चिल्ड्रंस और मदर कैन नेरेट स्टोरी सर स्टोरी ना मदर कैन नेरेट स्टोरी सो मदर नेरेट आई आस्क वॉट सी नेरेट सी इज नेरेट अ स्टोरी सो आई इन गशिष्ट दिस इज एक्यूजेटिव टू होम द चिल्ड्रन देन इट इज डाटिव okay so what can be the sentence we have to make sentence from this so the motor the motor at sailed at sailed again according to the motor according to subject verb should be conjugated so the motor at sailed now here it is the kinder the kinder in dative the changes into there remember okay and one more thing see her kinder is plural see this is the most important thing the is here plural the kinder okay the kinder this is plural here so in plural we know what is the article den plus n remember what is this plus n we have to add extra n so the motor at sailed den kindern kindern why i am adding extra n because it is written on the article that whatever the noun come after this we have to put extra n so the motor at sailed den kindern eine geschichte eine geschichte remain eine geschichte eine geschichte so this is the sentence now understand sentence is what the motor this is subject or we can say nominative at salen is a verb den kindern this is dative plural dative plural and eine geschichte this is dat uh, this is accusative so in accusative eine remain eine only getting my point so this is how we can frame dative sentence let's see few more examples now see subject is ish verb is saiga i show i show what i show the uh, apotheker means doctor or basically pharmacist i show pharmacist or i show recept what i can show uh, here i can show you pharmacist or i can show you a recept yes sir recept so recept is direct object that mean it is accusative and the apotheker is indirect so it is dative now see ish saiga again verb is conjugated according to subject their apotheker in dative their changes into dem so dem apo taker dem apo taker das recept remain das recept das recept now in english if we say what the sentence i show the recept to the apo taker in in english we need a preposition to add any information but in german if we have direct or indirect we can use dative okay so this is again let's see one more example see their gross farter their gross farter is again a nominative so there remain there only so their gross farter their gross farter kaufen you know when there is a article written over here it will take the conjugation of er z or s so it become kauft their gross farter kauft what he kauft the grandparents the grandfather purchase what he purchase a enkelin or a zuzik kitten yes sir the gross father can purchase sweets uh, candies chocolates so this is again a direct object means accusative this is indirect object means a dative if it is a dative then it will take the dative so the enkelin will change into their ankelin 
their ankylin. These you see chitin remain again. These you see chitin because in dative these you see chitin remain. These you see chitin. The doesn't change. So the Susic chitin. Okay. So this is the sentence. Clear? I think that you are understanding it right now. Now this is not very difficult. This is easy one. Now again, their chef, their chef, their chef is subject. Their chef. And sir, we know when there is article is written, it take the conjugation of air, z or s. Though their chef gift, gift. Ish gave do gives airs yes gift. Their chef gift the secretarian. He gives secretary or he give email letter. The he can give letter. What he give letter. So this is again accusative because direct object. The secretary is an indirect object. That's why it is a dative. So the secretary will come. The the change in dative is. There, remember. So there, uh, secretary, secretarian. Now their brief, their brief, their changes into Dane in accusative. Remember. So Dane brief. Okay, so this is the complete sentence. I hope that now you are able to figure it out. This is one for you. You have to do this. Take the screenshot and write the answer in the comment box. Now, again, if you want to join my latest batch or if you need help or in immigration, then the link is given in the description. You can click that link and you can fill the, your query there. Definitely, we will connect. Okay, and also if you uh, you can follow us. In these two platform, language schooler, because here I post all the upcoming uh, uh, upcoming batches, information about German culture, circular, and every important information I post there. So you can follow us here as well. Now at the end, I'll say Danke, thanks, Danke, choose, and auf wieder sehen.